Water is life's most precious resource, and today we're diving into how it shapes our world through agriculture. Think about your morning coffee, the vegetables on your plate, or the cotton in your clothes. None of these would exist without proper water management in farming. Yet, we're facing a global challenge. Our freshwater supplies are shrinking, while our food needs keep growing. In this journey through the science of irrigation, we'll explore how farmers are turning to smart solutions to grow more food with less water. We'll break down complex ideas into simple, practical knowledge that you can use whether you're tending a small garden or managing a large farm. Throughout this episode, we'll walk through four main chapters that will change how you think about water in agriculture. We'll start by understanding why water management matters and how it affects our daily lives by understanding the science of irrigation. Then, we'll explore different types of soil and irrigation methods, discovering which works best for different situations. Next, in the third part, we will also look at exciting new technologies that help farmers use water more efficiently, from simple moisture sensors to advanced computer systems that predict exactly when plants need water. Finally, we'll peek into the future of farming, where drought-resistant crops and innovative water-saving techniques are helping us adapt to a changing climate. By the end of our journey, you'll understand how every drop of water counts and how you can be part of the solution to water conservation. So whether you're a gardening enthusiast, a farmer, or simply someone who cares about our planet's future, this exploration of irrigation science will give you the knowledge and tools to make a difference. Let's begin our journey into the fascinating world of water management, where ancient wisdom meets modern innovation to secure our food future. The Science of Irrigation To master irrigation, we first need to understand our canvas, the soil beneath our feet. Understanding soil types and water holding capacity. The soil beneath our feet is more than just dirt. It's a complex and dynamic system that plays a crucial role in the success of irrigation and agriculture. To truly master the science of irrigation, it's essential to understand the different types of soil and their water holding capacities. Each type of soil behaves differently, much like unique storage tanks for water, and knowing their characteristics can help us make better irrigation decisions. First, let's talk about sandy soil which is made up of large particles with plenty of space between them. Imagine sandy soil as a colander water flows through it quickly without much resistance. While this characteristic prevents water logging and ensures excellent drainage, it also means that sandy soil cannot retain water for long periods. Plants grown in sandy soil require frequent watering because the water rapidly drains away, leaving little behind for the roots to absorb. This type of soil is common in arid regions, and although challenging, it can be managed effectively with regular irrigation and mulching to reduce water loss. On the other end of the spectrum, we have clay soil, which consists of tiny, tightly packed particles. Unlike sandy soil, clay soil acts like a sponge, soaking up water and holding onto it. While this might sound ideal, it comes with its own set of challenges. The dense nature of clay soil often leads to poor drainage, and when it becomes oversaturated, it can drown plant roots by cutting off their access to oxygen. Think of it as a bathtub with a clogged drain. It holds water, but too much of it can cause trouble. However, clay soil is highly fertile, and with proper management, such as aeration and careful irrigation, it can be an excellent medium for growing crops. Somewhere in between sandy and clay soil lies the golden standard, loam soil, Loam soil is a balanced mixture of sand, silt, and clay, offering the best of both worlds. It has just the right texture to retain sufficient water while also allowing excess to drain away, making it ideal for plant growth. Imagine loam soil as a well-designed water tank with a steady flow rate. This type of soil provides plants with consistent access to water and nutrients, creating an optimal environment for root development. In fact, one cubic foot of loam soil can hold up to 1.5 gallons of water available to plants, acting as a natural reservoir beneath the crops. This makes it the most desirable soil type for farmers and gardeners alike. Understanding these soil types is fundamental to effective irrigation. 
Each soil type requires different irrigation strategies to maximize water use and plant health. By recognizing whether your soil is sandy, clay, or loamy, you can tailor your irrigation practices to ensure your crops thrive. After all, the foundation of successful farming lies in understanding the silent partner beneath our feet, the soil. Exploring irrigation techniques. Now that we understand the foundation, the soil beneath our feet, it's time to delve into how we deliver water to crops effectively. There are three primary irrigation techniques, each designed to suit different soil types, crop requirements, and farming conditions. Drip Irrigation Method Drip irrigation is like giving your plants their own personalized water bottles. This system uses small tubes to deliver water directly to the root zone, drop by drop. The brilliance of drip irrigation lies in its precision. Water moves through the soil not only downward but also sideways, creating a moisture bulb that perfectly aligns with the plant's root zone. This targeted approach minimizes water wastage and ensures that plants receive the exact amount of water they need. For sandy soils, where water drains quickly, drip irrigation helps conserve water by delivering it slowly and steadily, reducing losses. In clay soils, this method prevents water logging by controlling the flow rate. Loam soil, with its balanced water holding capacity, benefits from drip irrigation's precision, maximizing water efficiency and crop health. Sprinkler systems, a controlled rainfall, Sprinkler systems mimic natural rainfall, but with the added advantage of control and uniformity. These systems use nozzles to spray water over a designated area, and the science behind them is fascinating. Water droplet size and pressure are carefully managed to determine how far and effectively the water is distributed. A critical metric in sprinkler systems is the Christiansen Uniformity Coefficient, CUC, which measures how evenly water is distributed across the field. For a sprinkler system to be effective, it should achieve at least 85% uniformity. This ensures that all plants receive an adequate and even amount of water, preventing over-irrigation in one area and under-irrigation in another. Sprinkler systems are versatile and work well with sandy, clay, and loam soils, though adjustments in pressure and nozzle type are necessary depending on soil characteristics. Flood Irrigation Technique Flood Irrigation one of the oldest and simplest methods uses gravity to distribute water across fields. This technique involves creating furrows, basins, or temporary channels that act as rivers, allowing water to flow across the field and seep into the soil gradually. For sandy soils, flood irrigation can be less effective due to the rapid drainage of water. However, in clay soils, the slow infiltration rate allows the water to saturate the field evenly. Loam soils once again prove to be the most adaptable, as they can absorb and retain water effectively, while still allowing for efficient drainage. Although flood irrigation is less precise than drip or sprinkler systems, it's a cost-effective method, especially for large fields. Properly managed, it can still deliver substantial benefits, particularly for crops that thrive under consistent soil moisture conditions. Choosing the right method. The choice of irrigation technique depends on the soil type, crop requirements, and available resources. Drip irrigation offers unmatched precision. Sprinkler systems bring versatility and control, and flood irrigation provides simplicity and affordability. By understanding these techniques and their interplay with soil properties, farmers can optimize water usage, reduce waste, and ensure healthier, more productive crops. Benefits and Drawbacks Analysis Let's compare these methods. Drip Irrigation Water Efficiency Up to 95% Perfect for water-scarce regions But initial costs are high and maintenance requires expertise. Sprinkler Systems It cover large areas quickly. Uniform distribution when properly designed. However, wind can affect coverage and evaporation losses can reach 30%. Flood irrigation, simple and low-tech, works well with certain soil types, but uses 50% more water than drip systems. The choice between these methods isn't just about water efficiency. It's about matching the right system to your specific conditions, your soil type, climate, crop choice, and available resources. Optimizing water efficiency. 
In our quest for sustainable agriculture, understanding the precise water needs of our crops isn't just about conservation. It's about giving plants exactly what they need to thrive. Every crop has its own unique water fingerprint, a specific amount of water it needs throughout its growth cycle. Take rice, for example, which requires around 3,000, 5,000 liters of water per kilogram, while tomatoes need about 180, 200 liters. These numbers aren't arbitrary. They're based on complex calculations that consider everything from root depth to leaf surface area. But here's where modern technology transforms traditional farming. Smart irrigation systems and sensors act like a plant's personal health monitor. Soil moisture sensors buried at different depths provide real-time data about water availability in the root zone. Weather stations predict rainfall and evaporation rates. Drone imagery reveals crop stress before it's visible to the naked eye. All this data feeds into sophisticated algorithms that make precise decisions about when and how much to irrigate. Imagine a farm where sensors detect that the soil moisture in the wheat field has dropped to 30%. Instead of waiting for a scheduled irrigation, the system automatically adjusts. It checks weather forecasts. If rain is predicted in 24 hours, it might delay irrigation to save water. If a heat wave is coming, it might irrigate sooner to build up soil moisture reserves. This isn't science fiction. It's happening right now on farms across the world. But there's a shadow looming over all this technological progress. Climate change. Rising temperatures are altering precipitation patterns, making rainfall less predictable and more intense when it does come. Extended droughts are becoming more common, while groundwater levels are dropping in many agricultural regions. The challenge isn't just about using water efficiently today. It's about adapting to an uncertain future. That's why we're seeing innovations like deficit irrigation, strategically reducing water application during drought-tolerant growth stages. Farmers are also adopting variable rate irrigation, where different parts of the same field receive different amounts of water based on soil type, slope, and crop needs. Some are even using AI-powered systems that learn from past seasons to optimize water use. The data tells a compelling story. Farms using these smart irrigation systems typically reduce their water consumption by 30 to 50 percent while maintaining or even improving yields. For example, a vineyard in California cut its water use by 40 percent by implementing soil moisture sensors and weather-based irrigation scheduling. The initial investment paid for itself in just two growing seasons through water savings and improved grape quality. We're also seeing the rise of precision irrigation systems that can vary water application down to individual plants. These systems use thermal sensors to measure plant stress and adjustable drip emitters to deliver precise amounts of water. Some can even inject nutrients into the irrigation system, optimizing both water and fertilizer use, a practice known as fertigation. The impact of these technologies extends beyond individual farms. When an entire agricultural region adopts water-efficient practices, it can help stabilize groundwater levels and ensure sustainable water availability for future generations. But technology is only part of the solution. Success requires a holistic approach that combines smart technology with good agronomic practices and an understanding of local environmental conditions. As we face an increasingly water-stressed world, these innovations in water management aren't just advantageous, they're essential. The farms of tomorrow will need to produce more food with less water, and the technologies we're discussing today are laying the foundation for that future. Every drop saved brings us closer to a more sustainable and food-secure world. The future of irrigation, innovation, and progress. Welcome to the cutting edge of irrigation technology, where science fiction meets reality. Imagine drones scanning vast fields, collecting data about crop health and water stress in real time. This isn't just imagination, it's precision agriculture in action. These aerial scouts work alongside satellite imagery and ground sensors to create detailed maps of water distribution, helping farmers apply water with surgical precision. But the real game changer lies in artificial intelligence. 
Machine learning algorithms now predict crop water needs days in advance by analyzing patterns in weather data, soil moisture, and plant growth. Some systems can even detect plant diseases before they become visible, adjusting irrigation patterns to help crops fight off infections. Nanotechnology is revolutionizing how we monitor soil conditions. Microscopic sensors, smaller than a grain of sand, can now measure everything from water content to nutrient levels. These tiny technological marvels communicate wirelessly, creating an underground network that gives us unprecedented insight into the root zone. Let's talk about making every raindrop count. Advanced rainwater harvesting systems are becoming increasingly sophisticated, using smart tanks that automatically adjust storage based on weather forecasts. Some systems even integrate with building designs, turning entire structures into water collection units. In urban areas, these systems can reduce dependence on municipal water by up to 40%. Gray water recycling is taking on new importance. Modern treatment systems can now purify household wastewater to irrigation standards using biological filters and UV sterilization. Imagine your shower water helping to grow your garden. It's already happening in water-conscious communities worldwide. But perhaps the most exciting developments are happening at the genetic level. Scientists are developing crops that thrive with minimal water. These aren't just drought tolerant, they're drought intelligent. Some varieties can adjust their growth patterns based on water availability, while others develop deeper root systems to access underground moisture. Vertical farming is pushing the boundaries of water efficiency. These indoor farms use aeroponics, growing plants in misted air without soil. The water savings are staggering up to 95% less water than traditional farming while producing the same yield. We're also seeing the rise of smart greenhouses that create their own water through atmospheric water generation. These systems extract moisture from the air, reducing reliance on external water sources. In coastal areas, solar-powered desalination is becoming more efficient, turning seawater into irrigation water at a fraction of the traditional energy cost. Blockchain technology is even finding its way into irrigation management. Smart contracts automatically track water usage and trading, ensuring fair distribution and preventing overuse. This transparency is crucial for managing water rights and promoting conservation. The future of irrigation isn't just about new technology, it's about integration. These systems work together creating a symphony of efficiency that could reduce agricultural water use by up to 70% while increasing crop yields. We're not just conserving water, we're revolutionizing how we think about agricultural production. Empowering your water-wise journey, we've explored the science, technology, and future of irrigation. But knowledge without action creates no change. Your garden, no matter how small, can become a water conservation success story. Start with simple steps. Install a rain barrel to capture roof runoff. A single barrel can save thousands of gallons annually. Add mulch around your plants. It reduces evaporation by up to 70%. Choose native plants that naturally thrive in your climate. These small changes compound into significant water savings. Ready to scale up? Connect with organizations leading the water conservation movement. The Global Water Partnership offers free resources and training. Your local extension office provides soil testing and irrigation advice. The Alliance for Water Efficiency can help you audit your water use and implement improvements. Take it further by becoming a water conservation advocate. Share your journey on social media using hash plant irrigation. Start a community garden that demonstrates water efficient techniques. Organize workshops to teach others about smart irrigation. Remember those statistics about water scarcity we discussed earlier? You're now equipped to be part of the solution. Every gallon saved in your garden contributes to global water security. The future of water management isn't just in the hands of large farms or corporations. It's in your hands. Whether you're tending a window box or managing acres, you're now part of a global community working toward water sustainability. So, what's your next step? Will you install that drip system? Start collecting rainwater? Or maybe teach others about water-wise gardening? Whatever you choose, remember, every drop counts and every action matters.
Together, we can create a future where water scarcity doesn't threaten food security. A future where gardens flourish without wasting our most precious resource. That future begins with your next action.